separately and I'm back in another room with you guys. I'm hoping all you guys are doing well. And we're just gonna go, jump right in this reading and see what spirit has in store for you guys, all right? If no one told you guys today, I love you. And I honestly believe all your dreams and aspirations do matter. This card wanted to come out. Somebody's moving away from something. Somebody has been mentally drained and you have had enough. Spirit sees you had enough and is guiding you to uh, more calmer waters here, okay? Some of you guys I'm getting uh, wanting to be more independent, wanting to be dependent, um, uh, independent, um, live uh, a life of solitude for a little while. So some of you guys may be moving away from a relationship, all right? Or people, places, and things, but you definitely was just too uh, too drained mentally, all right? The next card out, yeah. So something involving your stability, your house, your home, your family, uh, You are move. Oh, you know what? You guys are moving towards a more stable place in your life. You guys are moving towards a more brighter feeling and emotional state. You guys are moving to a, a place where you feel more welcomed, where you feel like it is built off a solid foundation, and you. are not going to be held back when it comes to moving forward with your passions, right? You are moving towards the things that is going to make you grow in the future. You guys are thinking long term. You guys are no longer in the energy of being confused, being um, hurt and uh block mentally you guys are literally moving to calmer waters and more of a brighter uh brighter experience right you see how this is cloudy a little gloomy right and this is more fun this is more vibrant this is more welcoming celebrations that is where you're moving to spirit is moving you and helping you move to a more brighter situation in your life a more welcoming situations uh situations that is going to have you celebrate and feel more at ease right more vibrant which is amazing you are moving away because you didn't get the same type of support appreciation energy back from uh, whatever it is that you are moving away from. It wasn't um, an equal give and take and you are someone that is, you know, that that's, that's something that you strongly believe in. I'm speaking to someone that is strongly, uh, strongly moved, right? And inspired by um, equality and being fair and, and being treated equal here and I see that wasn't happening all right that wasn't happening you was given too much of yourself and it began it begins to be become you know draining to you yeah you you working on something here you are a very hard worker you've been working on your finances i see a lot here all right you've been working on your stability where you're gonna be at five or ten years from now i'm talking to someone that is literally at a point in your life where you are thinking long term look i'm not lying the hangman you have put a stop and the steps that you were taking and you started to evaluate you started to evaluate. You became enlightened with a lot of things that you weren't aware of, and that is because you stopped to take your time. All right, you started to take your, you stopped to take your time about something and realized you were putting in too much energy and wasn't getting the same in return. You guys were putting your blood, sweat, and tears into something and wasn't reaping the same energy and rewards back. It was time consuming. A lot of hard work and dedication was put into um, whatever it is that is going on right now and mentally draining. Mentally draining to the point where you physically may have had to remove yourself or you just literally couldn't take it no more and you surrendered you surrendered you surrendered 
all right you've been feeling very very guarded all right you've been feeling guarded emotional um feeling like you're on your last draw feeling like you have to be protective over your life and your future and that is what you are moving away from collective you are moving away from feeling guarded feeling overpowered by enemies or or people that envy you and you have to be in a spirit of protection all the time you have to be surrounded by um the energy of feeling too guarded or something like that not feeling safe in your surroundings not no more you are moving into karma waters okay you are no longer feeling this sense of working day and night on something and not getting the same in return no longer are you doing that yeah look you're walking away you're walking away you're literally physically moving or you had it with something you are done you are not taking any more there's no more excuses that can be made there's no more apologies that needed to be accepted right now you've made your your decision and you're standing on it all right you are completely standing on what you believe in right now because whatever it is that you was in involved in um, emotionally unfulfilling literally emotionally unfulfilling all right giving too much of yourselves to people places and things that couldn't even give you the time of day that had you feeling like you had to beg all right that had you feeling like you had to beg moving away to build stronger connections moving away to build on things that you could utilize as a resource and first it starts with you you are walking away because you know that in, in order to have any successful relationship collectives it starts with you this is you making a choice that you vow to yourself that you are choosing yourself you are choosing your masculine and your masculine and your feminine feminine you are learning how to balance out those two so that way you no longer look outside yourself for anything yeah, putting an end, a complete end to anything and everything that is not serving your highest good. No more intertwining in relationships that is causing you pain and feeling helpless and hopeless. No more involving yourself in situations that is um, surrounding you um, by a spirit of confusion or greed. No more. You are putting an end, death to anything that is no longer serving you and for some of you guys you guys are putting an end to a relationship and moving away literally this could be physically this literally could be physically all right yeah you want a stronger foundation here you want to build off a strong foundation where it's equal where the finances are good where the where the communication is well where the longevity is built on and built you know and and looked at where long-term goals are implemented all right Because someone is a divine feminine here. Someone is a divine feminine. When you are the empress, you do not tolerate nothing less than the Ten of Pentacles. Full, complete financial and emotional success and freedom. When you are the empress, you embody abundance. You're not about to settle for anything that is um, making you feel like you have to beg for energy or attention or money or values you don't have time for that because you are too busy creating abundance for yourself you are the mother of all things you you see opportunities other than materialistic things in your life you create opportunities for yourself and others because you value your relationships With this high priestess here, there's some uh, communication that is coming in and secrets are going to be revealed. Or maybe that is why you're walking away because there's something that has been risen to the surface here and has been kept secret. Or there's something that you knew about and somebody came rushing in to talk to you. As if you didn't already know what was coming in. As if you didn't already know the conversation that this person wanted to have. 
take it how it resonates and you can apply it on how it fits your life but something happened here either to where secrets came to light and there was some type of argument or communication that happened or you knew about something that this person wanted to communicate with you about you already knew you're the high priestess if you're the high priestess and the empress you're nothing to play with not only do you know everything, you are very, very tapped in. You 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 can see through people's lies and deceit, but you are abundant here. And, and and somebody sees that, and now that you walked away, that that you removed yourself from the situation, they are wanting to come back. They are want to argue. They are wanting to speak their peace. They are want to communicate with you. But it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Look. Some of you guys felt left out in the cold. And when you are the empress, you are a nurturer. You are someone that is motherly. You are a divine feminine. You speak love. You speak um, abundance. You speak prosperity into people's lives and make them feel like they worth something. So I'm getting there was a divine feminine a empress that was getting treated like crap. That was getting left out in the cold. That was getting robbed of their abundance, of their emotional abundance, of their uh, energy. Of their vitality here somebody was getting played and not realizing who they are and whoever was playing them didn't realize who they had in their hands because again collectives and the energy status you 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 weren't supposed to feel left out in the cold you weren't supposed to feel neglected because you do not give off that energy you are someone that is nurturing and value really value value that role all right you have tapped into secrets that wasn't supposed to be exposed and you have came to the point to to where you are not tolerating that you are listening to your intuition you have listened to your intuition and know what you was feeling was valid getting left out in the cold with all you do is nurture someone no spirit removed you quickly and not only removed you but it's pushing you towards your stability and you're really happily ever after before that wasn't that you are moving towards your happily ever after here all right you are moving towards your emotional fulfillment no longer are you being drained all right by relationships that that do not value someone's soul right but values you know what they could give you know the empress does not put themselves in a situation like that you walked away because you are the empress you are a person of high honor when it comes to being a nurturer when it comes to being loving and there's no way you're going to be treated like crap or feeling left out in a cold or robbed of your energy and your talents and your abundance um there's no way there's no way there's no way the empress is going to beg for support. There's no way. Because they come in whole. They come in divine. They come in with spirit. All right? Now somebody want to come in and talk to you. Now somebody feeling feeling like a wound, wounded. Yeah, because you shouldn't have did that. You got to be mindful of how you treat people. Somebody want to come in with an offer. They want to talk and they want to come in with an offer. Not only is the offer taking too damn long, but they're coming in as a knight in a, in a two nights. They're not on your level. When you are an empress, you are, you are, I don't want to say past a queen, but you are an empress. Like you are someone that if you are ever going to communicate or be in a relationship, they got to be better than a knight. Sorry to say, they got to be a king or an emperor. And right now, your person is coming in as very immature, not knowing how to communicate, moving slow on opportunities when they should have taken it when it was there. This is immature energies, and you have no, no time for that. Not knowing how to communicate verbally. Not knowing how to articulate what they want and they need. This is what they're coming back with. This person literally... Had you blind to the key to your happiness. Or you were so confused and surrounded by the spirit of confusion and lack and 
doubt that you weren't mentally able to unfold, un uh, unravel that blindfold and make clear decisions on your life. You, I feel like, have finally listened to your intuition and revealed the secrets that needed to rise to the surface and move forward with your abundance here. Yeah, someone ha has been stalking you, researching you, and trying to manipulate, you know, your mind here. This is someone trying to manipulate your mind because of, you know, what they have or, you know, you being a nurturer, you know, and, you know, having a big heart and not wanting to see the bad in people. This is someone that played on your feelings here, manipulated you. All right. Yeah, so this person, you know, here goes this king of cups and this king of wands. They had to, you know, your person needed growth. They needed balance here. Your person needed balance. They needed to balance out their ego and their, their soul here. Yeah, look, truth. They needed to be clear. They needed to come to you truthful, mature. Okay, mature. Yeah, see, so look. So, didn't know that you was an earth angel. That's why you got to be mindful of how you treat people. Didn't know you were sent here to actually give the highest form of love to people that didn't have it. You were sent into this person. You were sent into this person's life as a literally, a, like a literal blessing. A physical blessing to nurture and care and balance things out and help them, you know, find balance in who they are. Instead, they wanted to, you know, leave you out in the cold with certain things and make you feel unwanted. Now they're going through a tower moment. Your person is going through a tower moment and, and realizing that they made the wrong choice here. Yeah, your person is realizing that they made the wrong choice. A lot of stuff, karma is going on. They're realizing that they invested their time and energy into something that wasn't you. And they are experiencing a shitload of karma here. Yeah. Too focused on their money. This person... You know, your person, if you are the empress, you are more worried about emotions. You are worried about fairness. You are worried about treating people with love and kindness. And here you go, your person is looking like it's ready to do anything for money. And if that has, if that, you know, speaks of you being left out on the cold or, or this person choosing other things and have you left out on the cold, this person didn't value. All they worried about was their materialistic gains here or what or how they were viewed in the people's eyes you know their ego their 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 image here your person was too reliant on how they were viewed their image all right yeah look how they were viewed in the limelight very very immature always wanted to go out always wanted to party always wanted to be the center of attention here and now look karma karma for not valuing a earth angel for not valuing a high priestess that could have healed you know your inner fears here you know while you mm, hold on look chose so this king of pentacles chose a karmic a queen of pentacles that was also about their money also ready to risk it all for for money didn't didn't value any any spirituality anything when it came to you know love and really doing the right thing this person chose <laughs> your person chose to be with somebody that had a lot of money but also that didn't value people for who they are but rather do anything and everything to gain financial um blessings here 
They didn't hold their values to high honor here. They didn't hold traditions. They didn't hold spirituality when it came to making money here. Your person chose someone over you that was ready to risk it all just as, as, as they were. And they didn't realize that they needed balance, that they needed love, that they needed nurturing, that they needed healing from, from childhood traumas. And you were able to do that because you are the empress. You're not worried about money because money follows you because of how you treat people. And here you go your person choosing someone that they thought was their um, significant other or their person, but in all reality, now they are facing karma. They are facing karma for choosing the wrong person, <laughs> for choosing money and, and, and flashiness. Your person argues all the time with this person. Your person has negative energy all around them. And that's because they didn't learn. They didn't learn to escape. So now these two people, which is your person and and his, and the person that they chose, now are being faced with karma. They built something off a false foundation. When you were the earth angel... Yeah, look, your person is being blocked from you. Spirit, like, has a torch of fire up in front of your person and cannot, is being blocked. Too much drama. Pick the wrong person because of materialistic gains, not knowing you was an earth angel, not knowing that you was the empress and that abundance follows you. No wonder why y'all walked away. Look, judgment. Spirit is not playing. Judgment is... Oh my gosh. They are in spiritual trouble. This could be, you know, real court cases, legal cases. Your person is being investigated by the divine. And not liking what is going on. Alright? Yes, Your person is under judgment. All right, so there's new opportunities coming to you, guys. Um, there's new opportunities that uh, is going to be in the forms of money. If you felt like, you know, you were in a relationship where it played a big role on your finances and uh, you don't need to worry about no more. You are being compensated. Judgment is being called in your favor, whether it's a legal case or a relationship. Judgment, spirit sees what was going on you you haven't been alone here and you are being compensated in a form of material blessings so that way you can move forward and live in your abundance as you were made to you don't just get done dirty and nothing and don't be compensated spirit sees all of that yeah look you are being compensated for being in a mental prison look when you were the star you, you, you were the star and your spirit guides were literally watching over you. You were healing from different things. See, you, you didn't have nothing to hide. You came bare in relationships. You came with your truth. You wanted to give and people instead had you in this energy when you just came in, you know, connections wholeheartedly and people used and abused their ability and control here. You are being in a position of about to receive the most amazing of all blessings that you may have dreamed of collective. This empress or whoever you have are and have went through this crap of someone, you know, choosing a false freaking person and having to fight and all of this stuff, choosing that over you, you are being compensated with a bright freaking future, abundance in all shapes and forms, especially um, materialistic um, blessings. And you're going to be able to relax. This is something that you pray for. You stay down. You meditated. You, you seek the divine when you didn't know which other way. And that's what happens. Something more spirit, anything else? Yeah, look, you built strength. 
You build strength. You build character out of all of this, all right? You've built loyalty. You've, you've, you know, out of all of this that you went through, this empress, all right? She remained humble. That's why, you know, she is the empress because she's able to deal with, you know, adversity. She's able to deal with people that, you know, are mean and and not deserving of, you know, her energy. She is, she is equipped to deal with the demons, okay? Because she has strength and character. That's who you are. Look, finally over. Stab in the back to where you cannot take it no more. And what you don't see here is that you're still connected to the divine. Those two fingers pointing up means that you are not dead. That you are still alive. You just had to see things for what they are. And it was a lot of backstabbing. A lot of betrayal. A lot of choosing sides. A lot of chaos. A lot of um, fighting. A lot of confusion. A lot of competition and envy and jealousy. But you're still standing as above, still below. Whatever doesn't kill you only make you stronger, collective. That's what I heard. And it made you strong. You built strength out of this, this betrayal. For no reason, because all I see was you give, you give love, you give nurture, you give loyalty, you give compassion, commitment. And people use and abuse that attribute about people. Which never goes unnoticed by spirit because they are on the judgment. All right, let's not forget that they are going through karma, which it doesn't matter. But they are going through, you know, they are reaping what 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 is going on and now realizing that they made the wrong choice on choosing another person or because of the ego and how they look in the image. A queen of cups is here. Let's see why she's out here. What's, why is this queen of cups here? Look, because you're love. You are love. You are. You were meant to show love, but you was also meant to receive the highest form of love. This is the holy grail that the Queen of Cups has. And here you go with it again. You were put on this earth to show people the highest form of love through adversity. Show people that spirit provides you a cup that runneth over. And someone did you wrong. Someone did the Queen of Cups wrong that holds the Holy Grail. That is able to pour your love, your spirituality, your confidence, and overflow. You have the key to that. And they did you wrong. You literally express the highest form of love possible to this person that there was nothing else to give. Queen of Swords. Look. Oh my gosh. So, your person wants to have a new beginning with you and bring you an apology because of all of this stuff that is going on. Okay? And you are not I feel like you are not accepting that. Your person wants to have a new beginning with you. They really, really see where they messed up probably. But they are coming in as a knight still. Immature. Are they even trustworthy? Have they changed? Because if you change, you will be a king. Why are you coming out as a knight? You may have the right idea, but there's growth and healing that needs to be done right now. So... Expect an apology and someone coming with an offer to want to start a new beginning with you. But I don't see that happening. I see you standing your ground. You are not taking any more lies or betrayals. You have grown. You see where there's growth. You keep coming up as the queen, the empress and stuff like that. This person keeps coming up as a child. This person is going to try to come in and apologize. And bring you an offer and saying that they want to start. Yeah, look, they are going to try to uh, rekindle the past here. They're going to try to bribe you. They're going to try to talk to you about, oh, what, how it used to feel in the past, you know, which is kind of cool or whatever. But look, they are deceitful. They are going to try to uh, tell you how they feel, but they are not sacrificing anything. They are not really 
doing the things that they are saying that they are doing. They want to come apologize to you, but they're still lying. They still have people on a the side. They are still lying to those people. They are still trying to manipulate you. Some some of you guys, can, there can be an age difference here. But look, how they want to come in and talk about a new beginning with you, right? A new opportunity, a brand new beginning. But they're coming in with lies, deceits, having grown, still trying to be the bigger person and steal people's energy or trying to be manipulative. How is that working? Tell me, please. Tell me how is that working? You see, like, you need a king. Spirit is saying, you are not coming in my person's energy no more because you this person needs to grow to be a king of truth not lies they need to grow they need to heal look a cycle is it's the end of a cycle here this it it the it, it, the will of the will is moving on. There's there's new love coming in. There's new relationships being um being reunited and committed to. There's new connections being formed. There's no time to be dealing with this these lies and deception. You guys are empresses. Like you guys have strong bonds and commitments that that is being formed here. And you guys are completing our cycles. You guys are leaving anything that is not loyal behind. Look. Look. Confusion. Trying to hold you. Trying to come in with an apology. And talking about they want a new beginning. But are confused themselves as to what they want. How are you confused but trying to come in and make it right? And you and confusing everybody. You're confusing. You're coming in. You are wanting to have a new beginning, right? You are wanting to apologize. You are wanting to bring this off of a love coming in. But are you really sorry? Are you? Are they really sorry or are, you, are they confused? And in order to get confused, you have to heal into this king. Look, spirit is shutting the light on all the deceits, all of the confusion, all the manipulation. And for some of, for the other half of you guys, your person needs to go within and find the light within themselves and release the ego here. Look, so your emperor, right? Because the empress, this is the empress divine counterpart. This is your true person. Right? This is who this is who you really belong with. This is your divine counterpart. All right. The Empress goes with the Emperor. The Empress goes with the Emperor. Okay. This is divine counterpart. But instead, your person is in third party relationships. In third party relationships. And not taking things seriously. Your person is in, is drinking too much, partying too much, not being who they are. They are a person of leadership, love, authority, but want to be in everybody's face. I'm trying to look for that other card. I could have swore another card came out, but we're going to go ahead. Tell me more about this emperor. Look, giving you false promises. Keep promising something and never fall through with them. You're sick of it. You're tired. Someone is moving. For, you're moving forward. You're moving forward. You're moving away from manipulation. You're moving away from keep getting promised something. And this emperor is promising everyone else the same thing. While you're here bored and... and Waiting on the thing that you was promised by your divine counterpart. Your divine counterpart is out there mingling and making everyone else happy. Doesn't make any sense. All right. You have, yeah. 
You you guys are being financially independent. You guys are focusing on your money, your stability, your loyalty, your relationships. And you rather do bad by yourself. You rather cry in a Benz than a Honda, right? That's exactly what I heard in my head. So you guys are focusing on yourself. You guys are stable. You guys are well off. And you guys don't really need the extra aggravation right now for what? Your money's good. You don't need that. Look. This is what this person is coming with. And look, they probably been cheating with a queen of wands too. So they probably been cheating with the, the, the queen of pentacles, which was all about the money. But now they got somebody all about sex. See, your person was dealing with somebody when you was the empress. You was this person, right? And you was, And this person was supposed to be your person, but he was too busy out giving everybody else attention. Your person is not only playing you with somebody that can financially take care of them. I'm trying to find a card, guys. They are not only they are not only giving their time and their energy to so, someone that they feel that has more money or that they can you see how it came in reverse. Not only are they giving their time and playing you or have played you for someone that could take care of them financially. But they are playing with somebody that is all about sex. That has them bound. That has them sneaking out at night. Literally, if you find your person coming in late or sneaking out or keep lying to you or they can't answer the phone, that's because they're too busy with this queen of wands. So not only are they cheating on you for somebody to take care of them financially, they got a whole nother partner that has to do with sex that they are bound to and they know that is not right and that is very highly toxic all right you are releasing you are releasing the drama the secrets that was once hidden has came out the secrets that was once hidden has came out you probably knew about this person that they was sexually involved with you probably knew about this person that they was um being taken care of financially but the secrets is out spirit not playing Your person was blocking you <clears throat> from your blessings. You are being blocked energetically from your blessings because this person was not only keeping their money to themselves, cheating, having everybody else take care of them, but they wasn't probably even giving you any money or you attention in the time a day. <clears throat> Your person was too busy out. Look, oh my gosh. When you get this and this type of reading, how it's going, your person was too busy into sex, into ego, into being in a limelight. Your, your person probably had a sex problem. Busy body. Now, now, now the wheel is turning the wheel is turning and now karma is coming around. Now the cycles are ending and your person is looking like, I can't believe that I let this empress go. And now I'm feeling burdened by all of these people. He don't, they probably don't want to have sex no more. They probably don't like the person that was taking care of them. And now they are looking at the cycles turn and realizing that they don't use you so much that all their abundance and emotions is dried up. Dried up. Dried up. Look. Moving away from heartbreak. You, Empress, is, is reaping the rewards of heartbreak. This person did you wrong. You probably thought you was going to marry this person. You, you've, you've held this person in high honor and trusted them with all your emotions. And all they did was stab you in your heart three times. This is three different women. Look, three different women here. Three different women. You, the one they was having sex with, and the one I was taking care of them financially. Justice 
is being served in your favor. You will have the life and the happy family that you desire because you gave nothing but compassion. All right? And all you did was suffer. This is your person. Your person, look, oh my gosh, I could not. Your person is wanting to come and apologize to you and realize what they did was so foolish. They have been sad and, and they cannot sleep. All they think about is coming back to you and making it right. All they want to do is come back to you and make a commitment. But I don't know how because it's still two other people here. And, and it's, th it's still three people here. So don't have this person come back to you and apologize to you. And they still messing around. And all they going to have you is trying to be confused and sad again. Don't do that. I done went through this whole deck of cards that I never do. I hope that resonated.